All right, go ahead. All right. Good evening, everybody that is here tonight and those that are going to come back to watch the replay. Tonight, we are mostly going to talk about Shannon's um, exceptional as expectations spring event. And I'm going to start off touching on a little bit of beauty school, how fun it is, why everyone should go, some of the stuff that we did. So one of the coolest things that you get from going to beauty school is this nice little beauty box. So two distinctions for clarity now that I know and have been there. And this is actually the case with Silver Retreat as well. So um, there is a product store there and then there's a swag store there. So at the product store, you get all of your um, normal products discounted like you do at any corporate event by 10%. And occasionally, as they did this this time, they do have some out of stock items that perhaps they're selling in other countries and they're still producing, but they're just not producing at a rate that they could give it to us here in the States. So like I got Jade Lemon, was super excited to stock up. I got five Jade Lemons. They had Digest and Cleanse. We ran them out of Goldenrod like within the first night and out of Elang Elang. So that was pretty cool. Then they have the swag store. So the swag store is where you get like t-shirts and X YL branded stuff. So, and, and there's like so much more extensive than what you would get on um, YL gear. So a couple of things. So there is actually where you would get Emmer Essence. Um, you, could, you could get other beauty boxes, but those are like more bags to bring back and you get some of the stuff that came in the beauty box. And what we got in the beauty box was this exclusive limited edition intensive eye cream. We got an art renewal. We got a bunch of um, small sample, like well travel size actually of like the cream mask, intensive, light moisturizer, um, and I think a couple other things. We also got some samples of the makeup. So just with that, what we got from beauty school, like product wise, I think we probably got an equivalent of like $500 worth of products. Just with that. We, uh, we also got one of these little headbands when we did the things in the, um, cause we cleaned our face all together in the workshop. We got a chocolate mask, we got the armor essence. So again, I'm pretty sure that just product wise, what they gave us was worth $500 and the ticket is 330. You also get two lunches and a dinner. So that's included in your ticket. And a couple other things that I got, like they had a towel that I got at the swag store. I got this um, YL branded manicure kit, super extensive manicure kit. A couple of times we've gotten We've done our spa parties. We've actually done nails there too. So now I got this to add to that. So then um, the first day is workshop style. And I think like if you only go to the one day, you'll get just the workshop mostly. And we started out with, we had the option of three different um, fitness classes. So that was pretty cool. I went to one of the three. Some people went to all three. Some was just like normal aerobics, dance aerobics, and then they had a yoga one with the individual that works directly with Ed Daly, and she's a diamond. And then after that is when we go into the details of the skincare products, and then in the afternoon, the makeup, and then we do, we actually do the whole like spa party thing together, washing our face and everything, and they have someone come on stage, and they do their makeup, and and talk about that. That's the first day. And then on the second day is more of the diamonds talking. And so they had some amazing diamonds and above that spoke, really gave some good information, um, bonded. It was, it was super, super cool. And most of those I did um, <clears throat> record. I had them on Instagram live and then I put them on my YouTube channel. So if you guys are subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can go watch um, Summer Davis or Lauren Cruz Dow that what they actually shared there at beauty school. So just like any other event for me, like it just, you, it builds your confidence, it builds your belief. Like Lauren's last talk was freedom to share savvy. And she was basically talking about how when she was first 
asked to share there, she was thinking, why would you pick me? And she had a hard time with it because savvy is not necessarily her thing. She does share it, but then like she even, you know, thought like a comparison in her head. She's like, when you look, think of me, when you think of savvy, you don't think of me. You think of someone like my sister-in-law, Hannah Cruz. And she put her picture up there because she was like sharing it all the time and doing the comparisons and giving the tips. Whereas Lauren just, you know, uses it once in a while. And so that's what she was helping us to work through. Even you don't have to be an expert. You don't have to be into every little thing. Like she was saying her <laughs> and I'm like on the same page with her. We'd have people get up there and be like, everyone needs to contour. Contouring is easy. And you know, they would talk for like 45 minutes. I'm not walking away from this thinking, oh yes, now I want to spend an hour on my makeup and now contouring is easy. Like that's never going to be me, but that doesn't mean I can't share skincare and savvy. I can share it in the minim minimalist way that works for me. Everyone can share it. So that was a really good message. And then just from an overall perspective, every time I go to like, the first time you go to convention, you're like, oh, I got to come every single year. This was amazing. I feel so empowered. You go to a retreat. Oh, I got to get to the next retreat. It's amazing. Same thing with beauty school. I'm like, man, I got to get gold so I can have more vacation days and I can go once a year. Like I totally want to go to the beauty school cruise or the glamping to have like a different experience, but it's a total just like sisterhood empowerment thing at the end of the day, in addition to all the amazing products and pampering like the Friday night, they do a fair with flair. So you actually get to use some of the additional products and things of that nature. So in addition to the pampering and the products and the education, just the the confidence and the sisterhood and the the feeling that you are amazing, wonderful, and beautiful, and you can share in your own way. And for you to go forth and continue to expand your market by doing this, that part of it was just amazing as well. So that's what I loved about beauty school. Everyone should put it on their agenda and go. So do you have any extra digest and cleanse? No, I don't. Shucks. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot, you know, because <laughs> we're going to be doing the um, five-day cleanse, um, okay. and we don't, they're digesting cleanse out, so yeah. hoping. So, Sherlou May is coming back in stock. We don't know when, but uh, I did get the Sherlou May, and yeah, I didn't ask about digesting and cleanse, but I can ask and see if that's soon to come back in stock or not. You know, uh, if, you know, this is for other people too. So half healthy, help, bleh, bleh, bleh. healthy habits hub, Kim Brunglecap actually did actually do something on the five day cleanse. And she said that you can put, um, digize in caplets and capsules and use that in replace of, um, so I have to go back and look at that. So I know how many drops, but I'm going to have to do that. So. So do you want us to cover the Shannon Hudson? Yep, we can go ahead and move on to that. Okay. Do you want me to start? Go ahead, Beth. Go ahead. Hey, so I can start, because um, I don't know, did we want to run it down like with the agenda or just kind of? pinpoint like key things that we wanted to discuss from there. Um, I wasn't really sure. <laughs> well, go ahead. So start with the, the agenda and then you have uh, Friday notes, right? So, okay. So I'll start with um, uh, Amanda Cooper's talk. So if anybody has anything to add towards that, maybe we can just start there. Um, so her thing was secrets of success. Um, and one thing that she recommended us do, which I have been doing, um, was that Earl Nightingale Strangest Secret. Um, I'm not sure if anybody else got a chance to listen to that, but there was a few like facts that she kind of pinpointed out of there that I do think are pretty, pretty powerful. Um, so one of the things that, uh, is mentioned was, you know, we live in the richest country, but if you take a hundred men, um, at the age of 25, um, most of them are eager for life and they're um, ready to be successful and they're excited about their future and what's going to happen. 
But if you gauge that those same uh, 100 men by the age of 65, you'll find that um, only one out of all 100 um, will actually be rich. He said that four are financially independent, um, five will still be working, and 54 of them will be broke. Um, and the biggest thing that, you know, when she was talking about success from that section, um, essentially, we all have the same exact circumstances and situations. Um, but one of the biggest things that we need to master is our own minds and our own beliefs. Um, so one of the problems uh, is that we um, are used to conformity. Um, so we look at the majority as this is what is normal when the reality is the majority, um, it's, it's not a successful mentality um, per se. Um, and again, we can see that with statistics, right? So we can see statistically um, how many people actually make it to um, financial um, freedoms and things like that. Um, so essentially she was saying that we're acting like the wrong um, percent of people. Um, so we have to um, change our mentality um, and it's important that we are constantly looking at our goals um, so and visualizing them. Um, so something that was suggested in that 30 day challenge is to one, listen to the Earl Nightingale thing every single day, um, two, uh, to also write on a note card um, your goals. So this is my little note card, <laughs> right? So whatever that goal is, um, and in, when you wake up in the morning, um, put that goal in front of you carry the card with you around throughout the day. So you can constantly be looking back at that goal um, so that it is at the forefront of your mind. Um, and one of the key things to also mentioned was the problem is sometimes we put in the positive, but then we also have the negative, right? So if we don't balance out and make sure it's just the positive, then we're just um, counterproductive to ourselves, right? So we're going to get the negative results because we are exactly what we believe we are. Um, so where we are is a result of what we thought we were going to be. Even if deep down that's not what we want, um, that's essentially what we are um, constantly mentally thinking about. And so that's what we're getting. Um, the other thing that was mentioned that I thought was pretty powerful was um, to a, a person that is successful looks for um, an opportunity. Um, if they don't find the opportunity, they make the opportunity. They create the circumstances for success. Um, and so again, that goes back to being more um, solution oriented versus problem oriented. So when we face like certain um, obstacles and issues, um, how do we look at that? Do we look at that as, oh, this is a place for me to grow and try to find and make a way, or do we just stop? And it's like, oh, see, it wasn't meant to be, and then we don't keep going. Um, let me see what else I have. Sorry. Oh, also, it was mentioned all our limitations are self-imposed. Um, so things that are holding back are within ourselves, so we have to work on ourselves to get that out. Um, what do you want? Um, oh, I already mentioned that. Carry it around with you. Um, you must become what you think about. Um, mentally see yourself accomplishing that goal. Um, so visualization, actually, whatever that is that you're trying to see, see yourself accomplishing that. See yourself doing it. Um, and, and keep reminding yourself you belong to that top 5%. You are in that top 5% group. Um, so that you can change that mentality. Um, I think that was all I had from that, if somebody wants to add. To yes, I really enjoyed the, and I think it did come from the Stranger Seeker too, but the definition of success. So the definition of success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal or goal. So she reminded us, it's not where it's, that we're at success when we reach something when we finish our degree when we become a doctor when we we hit our next rank we are a success if we are continually consistently working towards that on a daily basis it's those actions that create that success 
And if we're doing that, obviously we're not going to be doing it perfectly, but if we're doing that and we don't meet, meet a goal, there's no reason for us to beat ourselves up. Because what happens when we miss a goal, it doesn't happen on the date that we stood up in a room full of people and said we're going to hit it. We just are closer to that goal. We're still, like, we still had progress. Maybe we didn't hit that exact goal, but, you know, our OGV grew. We grew. We made more friends. There's so many positive things that still came out of it. So we need to constantly remind ourselves what the definition of a success is and use that to drive us to be consistent rather than getting discouraged and stopping because we didn't hit the goal on that date that we had set forth. And then um, reiterating one of the things Dana said, and I think it comes from the same strangest secret too, the worst thing that you can do is not set a goal because others are not doing it or simply because of fear. And we become a success or failure because of what we think about. So whatever we think about today is going to determine what our life will be a year from now. So as Dana was mentioning, that visualization, that affirmation, that looking at our goal on a da daily basis, making sure that we're, we're focusing on that positive. That's what we have to do on a daily basis. That's how we change our trajectory because we become what we constantly think about. So if we constantly think about how we didn't do something or how we in our minds think that we failed, then we're going to continue on that path. But if we think about and visualize our new life and what it's going to be like a year from now, that will get us on the right track. She also went through like, I don't know, 10 steps or something that helps us to be a success. And I'm pretty sure all of it is in the strangest secret. So it is only a 30 minute audio. It is on YouTube. So I would suggest that everybody take the time to listen to it at least once. But yeah, I haven't listened to it every day, but I am trying to listen to it multiple times to implement it and remind myself of the things that I need to be focusing on. Yeah, I really enjoyed Ma Amanda's talk too. Um, and here's one of the biggest things that I've gotten from going to Shannon Hudson events or any event. If you want to grow as an individual or know more about yourself or about how to build a business or about the products, you need to go to events. Whether they're online, whether they're on in person, in person is usually better um, just because you're going to be around people that are like minded. You're going to have the ability to um, create relationships. Okay. But if they're online, like these Zoom calls, kudos for everyone that's listening up afterwards and doing the replay as well as joining because this is helping you grow and you know what it helps me grow too so just being here um not talking just being in the background it still helps me grow you know so i think that's one of the biggest things that i got out of um the whole event as a whole and if you haven't gone or want, you just have a little bit of an inkling that you want to go to um, the conference uh, in July to the Young Living Farm, do it. Because you're going to get a different perspective and you're going to learn amazing things. Or if you have events that are near you and you just want to, you know, uh, maybe I should check it out, check it out because you're gonna grow. Anyway, so a couple more things about Amanda. Uh, and she did a phenomenal job, okay? She is just a wonderful, wonderful lady. And yes, they, it's amazing how everyone can go to the same conference, listen to the same conversation, and you get something completely out of it, completely different out of it, right? And I think it's just in different stages of where people are in their business or their personal growth. For, for me, I'm working on worthiness, okay? So um, one of the things that she said really, really hit home for me. She said, if a flower is red, um, if a flower is red, like so certain flowers are made to draw in insects, you know, like they're specifically made, like the color that they are, the way that the, um, the, um, coloring is in the flower. If a flower is red, so an insect can find it, how much more are you created for a purpose? And I, that like really hit home with me. Like I was like, wait, 
a flower is just like, you know, like, hey, it's pretty to look at, but you know, we're, we're definitely created for a purpose. And some of the other things she said too, is when you're setting goals, it says, she says to set a worthy goal. And you know, a worthy goal is usually goes back to money, but you have to tie it to something that means something to you, right? So if I wanted to create an extra $2,000 uh, a month, what does that actually mean? And for her, meaning Amanda Cooper, she actually wanted to be able to afford all organic produce for her family and not have to think about it. But that means money, right? So for other people, what is that worthy goal that you want? And then, then correlate it back to the money, right? So for me, I would love to help with orphanages, um, the foster care families. I would love to be able to support those like financially. But what does that mean to me, right? So that means that I can actually go and help those people that need help, but I need to make a certain amount of money in order to get that. Does that make sense? Like, so it, it, it's, it was very key for me that your, that your worthy goal is something that that money produces. So I thought that was kind of cool. There was one other thing too that, that really um, stood out to me. So when you're trying to do and move yourself forward, People always talk about decide what you're willing to sacrifice. And when people think of that, they think of it as a negative connotation, like, oh, I'm gonna have to give up this, give up that, give up this. And she put it in a context that I was like, oh, that makes it much easier to swallow, right? Um, she actually said, you have to make space for the good and lovely things in your life. So it's not that you're giving up things or you're losing things, you're actually just creating the space for those good and lovely things to happen in your life. And I thought that was really key for, for me because when you say sacrifice, sometimes it says like, oh, like a lot of people get a little um, hesitant towards that, right? But when you say, oh, you need to just create an extra hour or two hours a, a week in order so that you can meet that worthy goal. And I thought that was really easier to swallow. Um, and one other thing was we have, we all have the same, like Dana was saying, we all start off with the same, same, um, we all have the same 24 hours in the day and we either can create value or consume it. And she was just encouraging us to be a creator of value. And when, you know, <laughs> And it's funny because I used to think like value, like, oh, I'm getting the best bang for my buck, <laughs> you know, kind of thing. But if value is just instilling, instilling into other people and instilling into yourself too. And that's why you want to go to the events that are available to just to create value in your own life. So that was with Amanda and she did a fantastic, fantastic job with it. That's all I had. I can keep going. The next speaker that came up was the kids. Um, this was key. And so here's one of the things is that um, the, <clears throat> she actually got her PowerPoint slide off of the Grow workspace. So if you're willing to invest in your, I don't have Grow, I don't know uh, all about it, but she said that the PowerPoint was beautiful. It was professionally done and it, I'm not sure the cost or anything, but if you're willing, if you need something to invest in your business in order to do classes and educate yourself and people, that might be something that you want to take a look at. Um, but one of the biggest things that she said, um, just reiterating stuff that, stuff that um, we all know is Vitality is now uh, non-GMO certified. And that is huge. And the reason it's huge is because not only is it just a certification to put under a belt, but when you have to be certified, it is a third party verification and testing. That is government like regulated. So I mean, that's just, that, we already knew that the oils are amazing and that the purity is the, is the greatest, but when you go and get those certifications, it, it's a huge step. And that was one of the things that she brought forward. And I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. But something that we should celebrate, anything that Young Living does is to help us pro uh, prove yet and yet again, we're the best company out there. Um, she touched on um, breakfast and academics, and this was huge for my son. Actually, my husband showed up for a little bit just for this in particular. Um, so I should actually pull him in here. 
anyway, uh, <laughs> um, he, uh, they did a study on kids and um, they gave them a high carb breakfast, a high protein or no breakfast or a balanced breakfast. And they did, um, they, they, they put them on these breakfasts and which one was better for academics, it was the high protein. So if your kids are struggling with some sort of academics in the morning or throughout the school year, change their breakfast. So I started that and we started it, implemented it immediately. And you know what? My son's grades a week actually showed it as of this week. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's only been two weeks. But anyway, and then, um, yeah, and then she went over some of the other things that the kids should have in the morning because, yes, you can give them all the protein. You can try to have all the balanced diets that you want, but we, our food are depleted of the nutrients and the minerals that we need just because our soil is not so good anymore. You can buy all the organic. You can get it from the farmer right down the road. But our nutrients come from the minerals that are in it, and our soil isn't as good as it should be. So they said that the kids need to be on some supplements as well. She mentioned Mighty Pro, Mighty Vites, Mighty Zymes, and Ninja Red. And I said, I need to get some Mighty Zymes because my son uh, does take the Mighty Pro. He does take the Mighty Vites, and I ordered my Mighty Zymes next. Um, so I'm going to try that too. So, and she went over all these great recipes to help with like, um, calmness, um, roller bottles for being calm. Another one for, um, happy head. <laughs> so they don't get any of those junk up in there. Um, for focus, um, for other things too. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, Oh, my goodness. Sorry, I just saw this and this drove me nuts. Okay, so <laughs> so there is um, a chemical, chemical, and I'm sure most of these know this, and if I butcher the name, I'm sorry, um, triaxaline, and it is actually a chemical that's banned in the hand sanitizer, but it's still in our toothpaste. Like that's not ours being young living. That's, that's, that's not that, but that just broke my heart. And here's why, because there's people out there that are trying to do the best for their kids. And yet there's the chemicals that are like banned and hand sanitizer is actually our toothpaste that we're ingesting it. Oh my gosh. When I learned that, I'm like, Oh my gosh, so many people need to know they need to wake up and we have the vehicle in order to help those people. Um, one of the other things that she really um, helped me understand too is that the products that we have, you can give them to your kids. So if they need help with the brain, give them some mind wines, some brain power. Um, some if they need help with focus, get them some um, vitiver, lemon, lavender, cedarwood, and frank. Um, get the toxins out. Just the same thing that we always know, and it's a lifestyle, um, but it just kind of drove it home a little bit. So that's what I learned from the lady who talked about kids. No, go ahead. Sorry, I was trying to unmute. Um, so just to kind of add, because uh, a lot of that, those same points I had too. Um, and even with the, uh, I don't know, the, bugs in the head. I don't know how, how compliant I can say that or whatever. I thought it was interesting too, because she was just saying that, you know, nowadays, because she's like, in general, like, if your kid is in school, like, they're in the classroom with a child that has them. Because it used to be where it's like, you have them and they send the kids home. And they're like, nowadays, like, some kids would never go to school if they did that. So she was just saying, you know, for her and her family, like they had their little, I wish, and this is why I wanted the actual PowerPoint because I didn't write down all of the little recipes, um, but she had a great little recipe um, to put in the hair um, to just be, you know, again, proactive, just because you know your kids are going to be in that environment. Um, so I thought that was really good. And then I did also think it was interesting because she talked a little bit about, you know, her in her profession. And how before she knew better, um, how one thing that she regrets is how much she had prescribed um, children with different diagnoses and getting them on medicines that she now realizes how harmful that was for those children. Um, so she, she really, really just emphasized that like through 
you know, all of the things, right? The diet, the tax, taking out the toxins, the oils, um, you really can absolutely balance your children. Like, absolutely. Um, and I, that to me um, really gave me more confidence. You know what I mean? Because I do have quite a few maybe friends or family that, you know, have chosen certain ways of helping their children. And um, from her perspective, what she has seen um, now going with this route um, has had amazing results for, for little ones. And again, without the Nancy side effects, which, uh, you know, is huge, you know, like we have to remember, like they're, they're little people, you know? And so um, I did really, really like um, a lot of her heart and what she was talking about from, from that aspect. Yeah. And just to reiterate too, like you had said, coming from her profession, she is a middle school or grade school teacher yes. has been yes. for years, yes. like 20 yes. years. So, um, I thought that's kind of cool coming from her perspective cause she's in it. Yeah. And then it's nice too, because of her passion. So like for her, um, financially, they got to a place where her husband was able to retire. Um, but she just loves what she does with kids so much that she chooses to, to keep working and doing that. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool too. Uh, next. So. Mm -mm -mm. so did you have anything else from Friday morning or Friday afternoon? That you yeah, I, I definitely did. <laughs> I have a whole bunch. Like I took about 10 pages of notes. So um, here's the, here's the key points, right? I'm just going to go, cause for the sake of time, I don't want to take all the time. Here's the key points. If you have an event that's near you, get to it. <laughs> like that's, that's it. Cause you learn so much. Um, but to kind of bring it back into what we learned, there was a lady that was there who um, mom knew um, Mary before Mary knew Gary young. Okay. So she started in the oil company and this lady, <laughs> um, when her mom passed away, she was already a diamond RC, RCD or RCD. She was one of the two. I don't know. And you know, well, tomato, tomato, <laughs> not really, but, um, uh, but here's the thing that drilled home for me and she never even knew anything about the oils either. Right. So there was a lady that was there. She, she like pretty much inherited her mom's business to the point where she didn't have to work at all. Now she chose to take it on and she chose to grow it even more, um, which was fantastic. But that just kind of sealed the deal with me. Like if you want to take care of your family and leave them a legacy, this is the way to do it. You know, so that really sealed the deal for me. And that was just a quick little blurb. She was up there on stage for just a small time. Um, but it was really, really cool about um, seeing it in action, right? So you hear about it. You can will this to your kids. Well, no, it was willed to the kids. And the lady never had to work. And she could have just sat there and collected a diamond paycheck, but she chose not to, right? So she chose out to go out there and build the business to an RCD. That's what it was. But it was really, really powerful for me to know that this is the way that I can assure that my kids' kids have, um, are a benefit from me. Anyway, so um, there was a lady by the name of Christy West. She went over personality plus or um, the personality types. And she, she did it on the way of, yes, you get to know yourself a little bit better, but then you get to know who you're talking to and you can know how to reach them. And I'm just going to go quick over them quick. Some of you know, personality plus some of you may know the colors. So a sanguine or what we know as blue, um, um, they love, play being playful and being part of the party so when you're like in, uh, inviting a blue some way like oh my gosh it's gonna be amazing and you're just making it even funner because they like being the center of attention i should know i am a blue so <laughs> um and they they love the the ability and freedom to create interact and adapt so vendor events a lot of blues like and um, as well as being the center of attention, education. Um, and when you're inviting them, it's going to be a great blast. It's going to be an awesome party. You should come. 
right? So that's a blue. Um, for red, um, which is choleric or, or we know as red, um, they like the opportunities to take charge. They try new things in projects. They like to impress and big ideas, challenges, um, a validation of a, well, of a job well done, um, big tasks with big results, and they're problem solvers. So if you're talking to a red and you want to invite them to a class, like, hey, you know what? We could use your ideas and your, and your, we could definitely use your ideas and we would love to be able to have you there and participate and maybe even lead the, the event. Right, so that would appeal to somebody with that personality as well as um, <laughs> challenge them, right? Like, oh, this girl over here, she brought three guests her first time. I, I don't know if you'd be willing, you know, if you, if you can do that too. You know, that might be a good challenge. Obviously, make sure you know who you're talking to before you do that, but um, if they're a red, have at it. Um, green, so, um, uh, feel respected and trusted. They like details and the, for the big picture, they like encouragement and to share emotions. So when you're inviting to them, you would say stuff along the lines of you learn so much information. When you come to these, you actually get into the nitty gritty of how the essential oil actually works in the cell. And if you want to know those things and they don't discuss them, you'll have a plenty of opportunity to, um, to ask those questions. And I know this is something that you're gonna benefit from because you're gonna learn all the details behind how an essential oil works or how to use them, right? So that's one way. Yellow, they love um, feeling honored and validated and they come to feel loved. Questions are answered, details to plan for the future, quiet and connect time. So you can say if you're dealing with a yellow, me being a blue would not be like, hey man, it's gonna be an awesome party. Like you wouldn't say that to somebody who's a yellow. You would be like, oh man, it's a great time to create friendships and build those relationships and you know, get around people of like mind. So I, I thought that was kind of cool how she did that. Um, one other thing too, there are tons and tons of notes that I have here, um, but I'm just gonna nail on um, two big things. Um, okay, maybe. Let me see what time it is. I don't want to go over. Okay, I got about five minutes. Okay, there was Doug. He is originally a biochemist and he studied the pharmaceutical um, drugs and how they interact with the body, body on a cellular level. And then when um, his wife started getting involved with essential oils, they ended up, um, and they ended up, doing very well, like getting the toxins out, drinking more water, doing everything. And their daughter ended up having amazing results with um, following the Young Living lifestyle. And uh, so he said, well, I'm going to figure out how these work. So he went into the actual detail of essential oil molecules. So it brought it down from like, here's a drop of oil to what exactly that chemical structure is and how it interacts with your body. Here's some good things that I... Um, really, really thought was key. So um, um, lipoprolific, yeah, that's it. So essential oils are not, they're hydrophobic, which means, you know, like oil and water do not mix, right? So when you try and put a drop of oil in water, it kind of sits on the top. That's how you got to swirl it or shake it around before you drink it. That's, that's because they're hydrophobic, okay? But essential oils are lipoprolific prolific, which means they like fats. So if you're trying to um, consume them, it, it is good to put in water. Yes, you can shake it up. Yes, you still get it in. But when you add it to a fat, it actually carries a little bit better into your system. But here's the cool thing. Ah, when I learned this, I kind of knew of it, but like when you hear it again, it makes more sense and it just hit home with me. So your cells are covered by lipids. So those, all your little cells in your body are covered with a coat of lipids. So fats, right? They're covered with lipids. That's how the essential oil can actually adhere to it and integrate into the cell. That is huge when you're trying to think of how an essential oil actually works. Now, do you want to share this with all your new people? No. 
but does it help with your 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 backbone and your like this is exactly how it works if you need to know those things you there's plenty of people to find out how to how, how an essential oil works this guy explained it in a way that it made sense to me and when i <laughs> learned that there i came home and my husband's like uh, okay. I was so excited to figure out like, this is how it actually works. <laughs> but anyway, so it's lipoprolific and that's how, it's how it actually gets into your cell, which I thought was really cool. Um, that one was cool. And then there was another one about business. Um, and it was Catherine Trista, seven skills to becoming an RCD. And I thought this was interesting. So yes, we learn about products. Yes, we get to spend amazing time with people, but there's also ways to, to build a business or to help increase your net, uh, your network in order to share more of the oils and how they can help, help people. Um, so there's seven steps. I'm just gonna name them and then kind of just touching them. Finding prospects. So envision your dream team, make a list of 200 people, and characteristics and qualities you'd like in those people. Because you don't wanna be around people that are gonna bring you down, right? You don't want negative Nancy's around all the time. So if you wanna build a dream team, think of those people and you find those prospects. If you can't find the prospects, then you, when you're out in the store, I mean, I've always taught my, my son, friends are, are, strangers are friends you haven't met yet, right? Like how many people when I was born I, did I actually know? Well, wait a minute, I probably know one or two. Right, like I knew my mom and dad, I probably knew my siblings, but I didn't really know anybody else. And now I have greatest of friends through work and through social outings and through um, young living and through other means too of just going out and friend, or strangers are friends you haven't met yet. Now, obviously, for the sake of my son, I tell him don't take anything, you don't leave with a stranger, but um, just. I think that's, um, you go and find prospects. Okay, number two, um, inviting prospects. So she sent out 100 text messages. <laughs> she challenged us to send out 100 text messages in the next 72 hours. Number three, presenting your story. So um, how these products have changed your life. And I know everyone has a great story and there's a way to be compliant. If you don't, if you're struggling with that, please get in touch with the person that you're working with that can help you straighten that out because these stories are amazing and they need and people need to hear your story and if you don't know how to say it compliantly like I didn't and I was completely embarrassed from stage on at Shannon Hudson events a little bit ago um, she helped me <laughs> very quick anyway number four follow up so we need to listen we need to find their why we need to relate and we just need to tell stories right? So that's our follow-up. Our follow-up isn't like, hey, we need to go through ABC. No, you just need to build that relationship in the follow-up. Um, oh, and number five, it's the closing. So make a decision for them. Be confident. I want you, I, I want you to get all the stuff and the points to spend to. So when you're talking about essential rewards, I want you to get all the stuff. And you know what? I'm a girl that loves deals. So go ahead and check that box. That's going to put you on essential rewards. We'll talk about what you're going to get within the next couple of days. And then you can follow up with them, right? Number six, helping new members get started right. And this is something I'm struggling with. I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to lie about that. Um, but I think some of the things that she said was very, very poignant. She says, you, when you're following up with them or when you're helping them get started, you validate their decision. Like, oh my gosh, you made the best decision. These products are going to change your life. You're going to really enjoy the young living lifestyle. And this is, this is how it helped my family. Just tell your story again, a different thing, whether it's the toothpaste or whether it's the, um, raindrop or whether it's the uh, aroma freedom kit or whatever it is you have other things that validate their decision for making this decision to follow young living um you set expectations um some some people have a getting start checklist i have yet to put that together or find one yet so <laughs> and you create a game plan for them like hey and it can be a health game plan or it can be a business game plan like hey I know you wanted to earn your kit for free so let's go ahead and put something on the books and get something started for you right so let's go ahead and get your kit money back right 
uh, or hey, I know you will want to focus on um, health and nutrition and you're working out right now. Let's make sure that your next order that you place, because you check that box because you need all the free stuff. Let's go ahead and make sure that you um, put the cool azul pain cream on there, right? Or the ninja, that's going to give you plenty of energy. And don't forget about your peppermint. You want to put that in your water. You know, so just those things that we do every day and we can speak to them and then give them assignments, right? So when we're talking about creating the game plan, we also need to give them the assignments. And number seven was promoting events. So this is just um, um, gathering with your tribe, right? And so, and it may not be the tribe that's available right here in your in your state or or online, but it's 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 your tribe, and it's the Young Living tribe. It's the whole Young Living family. Um, and she put, um, she did say, if, if you feel like you are purposed, uh, if you feel like you have a purpose with a young living business and you feel like in your heart of hearts that this is your purpose is to reach out to other people and help them in health and wellness through young living, then it's going to come to fruition. We just got to follow those seven action steps. So that's it. That's it. That's all you got to do. <laughs> no so it sounds like it was a, uh an awesome event then i i i'm sad that i missed that one um but shannon's events are are always great so i mean kind of to the point that you guys mentioned if you have the opportunity to make it to an event go to an event especially if you're blue personality like and you are fun loving and love to be around people go to an event if you want information, go to an event. Like there's something there for everybody. So um, so thank you for sharing that. So we're in the last few minutes of the call. Um, let's move on to events then, okay? So while I pull up the calendar, which I do wanna uh, send a shout out and thank you to everybody who came to today's event because that was nice trying to be inclusive and create a community within our team. So, um, so this is the week of the 14th or yeah, the 10th, sorry. <clears throat> so Friday, March 15th at Big B Coffee in Dearborn Heights, um, there will be, that one's an intro to oils? No, emotions. Emotions and oils uh, will be that class. Uh, that starts at 6.30. And then Tuesday, March 19th, um, there we have a Facebook class, um, which is on home detox. That will be at 8.30 on Tuesday the 19th. And then on, is it the 30th? Mm -hmm. Was the other one? And then Saturday, March 30th at 2 p.m. There will be a class at what's the name? Sugar, sugar scrub. Salt and sugar. Salt and sugar. Sugar <laughs> scrub. Um, so feel free to plug people into those events. Those are the ones coming up within the next few weeks. And that's in Clawson. Clawson, right? Um, so if you have any other events or classes that you want to go ahead and market so that people can plug in, feel free to announce those. So. Really quick, I, I know, Tashina, you have a whole bunch. I have like two. <laughs> um, one is if you want to learn the John Maxwell with um, uh, Marlene, it is starting on um, 3.11, I think. It's in the, it's in the Happy Oilers um, Facebook group, and that is just um, a fantastic book to go through. It's called The 15 Laws of Growth with John Maxwell, and... Um, he is a fantastic leader. The others, the other one is on the 22nd, Big B in Heartland. There is going to be a detox in your home. I believe it's 7 or 7.30. I can double check on that and send it to everyone. And just a reminder, there's a, there's a Google Doc so that everyone can put any of their classes on there so that everybody can see it. And then you can share that Google link to anyone and then they can, you know, it'll always be available to them. So I'll put that in the in the chat. <clears throat> and um, then on the 26th, I'm doing the home detox in Spanish on Facebook as well as plugging into the other the other two events that we talked about. And and again, we do have some stuff already set for April 
as well. So just mark your calendars and start booking yourself around that. And then everybody knows April 6th is the rally. So here in Michigan, we're plugging into the one for um, Amanda Cooper and team, which is a half day beauty school. So that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get free products there. We're gonna play there. Um, and remember that usually when corporate comes, they have a dinner the night before. So make sure you mark your calendar probably for around 6.30 on the 5th as well, if you're an executive and above. <clears throat> Can I go to that dinner if I don't go to the rally? I, they don't know you're not coming the next day. <laughs> yeah, you can. I did, that's what I did last time when I tried the CBD oil. And everybody's like, see you tomorrow. I'm like, no, you won't. Got my own rally. <laughs> so mark the calendar set. So, okay, cool. Um, all right. So, Let's go ahead and close out then. Thank you everybody for being on. Uh, thank you ladies for sharing that information. There were some new points for me that I got as well. So thank you for uh, taking the opportunity to share that. And hopefully everybody enjoyed it and we'll see you guys on the next one. So then everybody stay, stay well. Bye guys. Bye.